and welcome to my crib. Come on in. I'm living my best life. Yeah, yeah. I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. You see the whip pulling up, it's like dream pulling up, I'm like. So as you guys will see when we continue to walk around the apartment, it is very industrial vibe. And that's one thing I really fell in love with when I first moved here. Just the way, this it's just so industrial and it looks really, really nice. So when you first walk into the door, on your right, you will see this jacket rack. And I like the fact that this was built into the apartment so I didn't have to do any work on that side. I just have my jackets that I use pretty frequently. These not so much. These are kind of the ones I use. And then I have a pair of boots hanging that I actually do wear pretty often because it's been cold here. At the bottom, I just have some of my shoes, my sneakers, a pair of rain boots. And then I also have a bucket of my summer shoes that I'm not using currently. So all the shoes that I don't use at, like during the season, I'll put in a little bucket still in that area just so I know it's there. <laughs> so on the left side of the entrance, there is actually a um, shelf that was built into the unit, which I really like. Um, I didn't really do too much with this. This was kind of like storage for me since I don't actually really use the front door at all. I have a garage, so you guys will see that in a minute. I just put some candles up here. There used to be a there used to be a little bit more stuff, but I've kind of gotten rid of some things because I'm actually um, gonna be moving soon. On the second shelf, I just have this IKEA man and some wall hangings that i got from a church member i really like them so i've kept them for about four years now and then on this lower shelf i have some shoes here as well as a box that i keep some of my decorations in that i don't use currently this is one of the design features in the unit that i really like and throughout the unit you will see like concrete walls just industrial piping and stuff like that it's really really nice if you're into that type of thing i was <laughs> am and so yeah that's one of the reasons why i chose this unit I'm not gonna change my lens because right now my waist is looking tiny. A lot of the furniture that I have in my living room currently is, if you guys have seen my last furnished apartment tour, I kind of have some of that same furniture and I've added a little bit of pieces to it. As you guys can see, we have the concrete wall through all, throughout. I really feel like a lot of my furniture pieces really matched with the concrete wall, which is one thing I really liked. Um, it just blended in so well and it just made it look so good. So I have this mirror and I got this from Home Goods. A few years ago, I know they have a couple of them like that right now, and I just like the way the black kind of blends into everything. I also have one of my beloved plants. She's fake. This is Erica, and I also got one of these little things. This is from Ikea, I believe. You guys probably remember this from college. I got this in high school. Why am I saying high school? Like I went to high school here. <laughs> I got this in college, and I got this from Walmart. All of the plants are from Ikea. And I have a few books here. Most of these decorations are actually from at home because that's why I used to shop in college. Because I got money. So next to the TV, we have this bookshelf. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you guys have seen this a lot because this is the only thing in my apartment I actually take a picture of. And this is one of my favorite spots of the house. I absolutely love this. We have plants from Ikea and the the actual like spaces are from Ikea too. These two plants that I have up here, I think, I forgot what this is called, but it's the African something plant. I'm sure I got it from the house and these just stay up here. These decorations are also from Ikea, the little plants. I think all the plants on here are from Ikea. I got this frame from Target. This camera right here is actually a real camera. Um, it's an actual film camera and I got it from Etsy. It's supposed to work, but I've never tried seeing if it works. You guys know that I love photography and videography. So I decided to get this and I just thought it would look so good in my space. And I love the way it looks right here. It just like is a subtle reminder of like the thing that I love to do. So if you guys can hear that, this is actually part of the reason I'm moving out. My neighbor has three dogs and he leaves them at home all day and they literally bark all day and it prevents it actually prevents me from filming and all that so i'm actually moving out for that exact reason so if you guys hear them in the background i'm so sorry but literally this is the only time i can film this video so on the third shelf i just have some fashion books that i haven't read yet if you guys don't know i'm really big on reading and i love reading books so these are just some of the books that kind of look pretty here they kind of have like this pink kind of theme i also have my favorite candle which is champagne toast from bed bath bed bath is it that Bath and Beyond? 
It's um, Bath and Body Works. Champagne Toast is the best scent ever. No one can tell me nothing. Then on the fourth shelf, I just have some more decor. Um, all of this is really from Target or Ikea. And then on the last shelf, I have some more books and this little jewelry box that I found that I really like. I know you guys are like seeing this and wondering what this is. This is actually an air purifier. I got it from Amazon, it was about $700. This is good for big spaces. The space I currently live in is about 1,600 square feet, so it's really good. The only reason I got it was, um, oh, and this filter is about 1,500 square feet. The only reason I got it was when I first moved into this unit, I kind of realized that you could see the dust particles in the air. My, it was just, it was doing a lot. This top is actually, you can actually change this out. So I got one that matched with my current decor. And this bookshelf is from Wayfair, I believe. I'm not sure, the link will be down in the description bar below. So this is one of my favorite parts of my house, just this glass table. Um, it's actually glass mirror, whatever, it's both. And it's honestly a timeless piece. It's one of those pieces that really can fit into any space. And it doesn't matter the kind of decor that you have. I think I got this for $1,200 from West Elm. It's not on their website anymore, but if I can find it, I will put it up. And I also got a matching side table. This thing is a marble tile that I got from Amazon. And I just put some gold leaf around it just to make it look like a tray. This is actually a DIY that I made for Valentine's Day. And uh, I will link the DIY down below for you guys can, so you guys can see. You guys have been seeing those like Le Fleur kind of vases pop up on Instagram. So I decided to make my own. The link to the video and the link to all the things I used to make it will be in the description bar for you guys to check out. This I got from Target, just a little centerpiece. It also has this black ball in the middle. This I got from at home. And then I have a little candle. The rug, if you guys are wondering, I got from Amazon and I think I paid maybe $10 for it during like Prime Day. So over here, I have my couch. This is my beloved couch. I've had it ever since I started living on my own. I got this couch for West Elm for about $1,000. All my pillows are either at home, Ross, home goods, one of some of them. I don't actually remember where they're from. I just know they're from that area. And I just really love this couch. It's the bottom of my foot ashy. Ooh, let's not see that. Then on this side over here, we have the one little side table that I have which matches the coffee table. I got this from West Elm and I also have a plant here that I got from Ross. And it's beautiful. So in this corner over here, which is also in the living room, we have this painting that I made. It's so cute. I actually want to make a bigger version of this. We made this out of paint and sip with my friends. And then I have a little fuzzy pillow and the see-through chair. The see-through chair I got from Cost Plus World Market. I just ordered it online. And you guys can see that the wall kind of looks blue but it also kind of looks purple when I first moved in I actually really hated the wall the unit came like this but it actually kind of works well with all the decor I have it just brings the whole place together and it adds a bit of contrast to the place that I really really like the one thing I really like about this unit is that I have floor to, uh, I have one big floor to ceiling window that I really like so you kind, of need a, you kind of need a ladder to get to the top one to be able to open it up, so I never open it. But it's really nice to have these because it actually lets in a lot of light. So welcome to my kitchen, guys. As you guys can see, you can see more of the industrial vibe that we have in here, just based on the metal backsplash that they've put in. So it has also a very industrial looking vent. The only thing I don't really like about this kitchen is that there's not a lot of storage, and you guys will see. There's barely any storage for anything, so it really just moves me the wrong way. One of my favorite things about this unit, I love ceramic top stoves. They just make me so happy. I do have my appliances in here. You can kind of see some of them. Because there's not a lot of storage, there really wasn't any place for me to really put things. So I kind of like this as the focal point because this looks kind of neat. So over here, we just have my fridge and my freezer. But one thing that actually really annoys me is that everything I use is over here, but the fridge actually opens this way. Not that you need to see what's in my freezer, but you know, you can see I just got food in there. But I also have stuff in here as well, which Makes sense because I eat food. Here's where I keep more of my glassware. I just keep um, my plates and I have some glass cups on the top. And here is where I keep most of my glassware. I have like wine cups at the top. One thing I did really like about this unit coming in is like the stone feel countertops. It gives the 
the space a lot more personality because it really just looks like pieces of stone that they cut out. What you guys have seen is the storage and then under all these surfaces is storage but that's literally it. Um, the cabinets are kind of small so I'm not able to put a lot in there. Because of that, I've had to turn this into my pantry. Personally, it's kind of an eyesore. I actually really hate the fact that my food is exposed like this. Um, but you have to do what you have to do for the space you're in. So I got this shelf from Walmart. It was probably like five or 10 or $15. I try to kind of make it look pretty, but functionality, for it to be functional, it just couldn't be pretty. So I do have an island in this kitchen. Um, it's really cute. It's actually not really functional, but on the other side of the island, I have a vegetable sink. I didn't know what it was. When I first walked in, I was like, why do I have two sinks? The leasing agent actually explained to me that this is a vegetable sink and you're supposed to use it to wash the vegetables. As you guys can see, like there really is this little dish I got from Target and this plant I got from Trader Joe's. One of the bamboos have died. One of the bamboos, bamboo, I don't know. One of them have died <laughs> and um, I'm pretty much struggling to keep the other two alive. One thing I do like about my space, which I, I bought these, are these like over the rack kind of um, little space saver things. I have two of them. Um, I think I've got. I think I got this from from Target, and I got this one in here from IKEA. I'm not too sure about that. So over here we have one of my. I know I keep saying one of my favorite pieces, but I really like this piece. This is my tea station. This is another DIY that I actually made, just like the one on my coffee table. And this plant is from IKEA. That one is from Ross. And I basically have all my favorite teas and coffees right here. I'm a tea drinker. I like tea. I don't really like coffee. I've had this coffee um, bag for maybe like two or three years and I haven't opened it. Um, but I bought the French press because I thought it would look good as far as the decor. So whenever I do have guests that like coffee or anything, I can kind of do that for them. So right behind the tea station is my laundry area. These, la these um, washer, the wash, <laughs> <laughs> so right behind my tea station I have my washer and dryer these actually didn't come with the unit I brought I bought these brand new from Best Buy they're the Samsung something I don't know I saw it in Best Buy and they looked cute and they were functional and they could wash and dry my comforter with ease so that's actually why I bought them the unit did come with the washer and dryer but they were really 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 old <laughs> and I was just I just I was like I don't want to be responsible for it because literally I would be responsible for anything that happened to them and I didn't want to be responsible for that. The unit also came with shelves in here which has also been very beneficial and functional. So behind me I have my garage. There's nothing spectacular. I just have my car in here and it's a two car garage so I have my car and then I have space for another one over there but I only have one car so I don't really need it. So right next to my washer and dryer I have a guest bathroom. It's really nice. Um, it just has, of course, the toilet and then the sink. The sink is also an industrial vibe type of thing. It has a little bucket looking sink and all the sinks besides the kitchen sinks look like shower heads. They are actually shower heads, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, the concrete walls, more of the concrete flooring in here. If you guys haven't noticed, there's actually a concrete floor that's just been stained and painted in here, so there's no like real flooring. It's pretty nice um, once you get used to it. Oh! You better have a bloopers thing, man. I need it. So over here, of course, I just have where I hang my keys. I actually really like this. I got this from Amazon. Like I said, link will be down below. Um, it's really functional. I just have my keys, spare car keys, and like some lanyards. I've pretty much shown you all of downstairs, so now we're gonna head upstairs to the loft area. So now we've come to like the upstairs portion of my apartment. There, it's literally like a mezzanine area. You can see over this side and you can also see over this side, which is pretty cool. The problem with this space is that it's kind of oddly shaped, so I didn't really know what I was gonna do for it. So I bought a rug to put here, which I love the rug. And I wanted to do kind of like a really nice seating situation here but of course with the odd shape there was no way I could really make it work in the way I wanted to so I kind of just turned this area into my upstairs workout home workout area it's kind of weird it's kind of hard to see like I, you can probably see more of like the shape 
um, with the railing, it kind of goes like this. It's kind of like not really a triangle, but it's not really parallel. It's honestly just a weird shape. So we've literally been filming for like for like three hours, um, and the sun has set. It's about 7 p.m. right now, so it's, the lighting is just weird. So I'm sorry about that, you guys. But over here we have some more of my creative stuff. This is just like I kind of keep this area as kind of like my sewing area. Now let's go into the rooms. Anyway, so over here I have my Billy bookshelf. I got this from Ikea. I think everyone knows about the Billy bookshelf. I just have a lot of my heels on display. I'm kind of trying to downsize as well, so I'm trying to figure out which ones I do wear, which ones I don't. I actually hurt my ankle. Last year I had a sprained ankle, so I haven't been able to wear heels at all, really. I wore them once and then my knees like just, just did not agree. This backpack is a Fiorelli backpack. They're really affordable. I think they're a British owned brand, but this is literally my favorite tiny backpack. I'm a backpack girl. This bag is from Aldo and then this bag up here is from Target. So we're actually in my beauty room slash filming room slash dress up slash make my wigs room. And both of these rooms actually look the same, my bedroom and this room. They're both the exact same layout, just kind of flipped. To go along with the industrial vibe, we also have this type of door and it actually slides to reveal my closet. In here, I just have more of the clothes that I don't wear on an everyday basis. And I also have my backdrops behind me. I store like a lot of my shoes in here, like my sneakers. I'm actually a big sneakerhead. I just don't have enough money to be a real sneakerhead. <laughs> but I store a lot of my sneakers in here and some of my heels. I also store like my suitcases um, and my designer pieces in here as well. The closets are really small, so I'm not able to put um, a lot of the clothes that I would normally wear in like in one closet, so I kind of have to split it up. So this area is actually my filming area. You guys have seen this in a lot of my videos. I do have my table set up here. Usually I have these makeshift reflectors that I made that look like this, but I'm not, they have to be down so you guys can see me. I got this shelf. I'm not sure, I think I got it from Walmart and the table I DIY'd and I'll leave that video down for you guys below. All my decor is from Target. This is, these two are from Target. This is from Ross, this is from Ikea, and the leaves that you guys can see in the background are from Hobby Lobby. I know my table looks messy, I actually used it so I could film this thing for you guys, so um, here I am. <laughs> I'm also sitting on this Ikea Alex drawer, which is where I keep all my makeup. So this is my sink, I really like the way it looks. It also has kind of the concrete slab broken rock type of vibe to it. Also has like a little cabinet underneath, which is very non-functional, so I barely keep anything in it. The sink looks just like the one downstairs. It's just a little bit wider, of course, more of the industrial style that is throughout the apartment. I have the bathroom behind me, which is a regular old bathroom. We're not gonna look at it because I have a lot of projects going on, like hair projects going on in there, so we really don't need to see that. So that's pretty much it for this room, so let's go over to my bedroom. So this is my bedroom, you guys. It's basically the same layout as the other room, so we're not really gonna do a run around, partly because we're both, me and my friend that's helping me with the lighting, are very, very, very tired right now. So this is my bed. I don't have a headboard, unfortunately. That's a situation that's going to change. The bed frame I got from Amazon, it's like a Zenus platform bed, and the bed is actually supposed to be a little bit lower, but I have a box spring. I thrifted this shelf over here from someone. I got it from someone on Craigslist and it just has a bunch of trinkets that I like. It has all my books on the bottom. The second shelf doesn't really have anything. The third shelf doesn't really have anything. The fourth shelf from the bottom has a clock and a frame and a candle. And the top shelf also has a candle and some plants, which are fake. Of course, I have my closet over there in that section. Nothing really, anything there. It's just the closet. It looks the same as the other one. And then, of course, I have my bathroom over there. Just keep a lot of my hair products in here. Over here, I have this rack that I got from Marshalls. And I basically just keep my skincare over here. With the lack of storage in this unit, I had to really like improvise. And I don't really... Personally, I, I wasn't really happy with the fact that I had to buy a lot of like storage stuff um, just to keep my things. So that's part of the reason why I'm moving out. <laughs> 
So thank you guys for watching my loft tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything you have questions about. Like I said, everything that I talked about, if I can find the link, will be down in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you, and God bless. Bye. Please let me just remove my steamer. Thank you. Let me just remove it. The Lord is huge.